Hello everyone, my name is Marianne Clark and I am a technology specialist at Hazlitt Township Elementary Schools. I teach currently technology grades K through four. Today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about Scratch. Scratch is a free program that teaches your students how to make animations, games, and stories online using computer coding. There are three things that you need to know about Scratch. Number one is this little animal. It's a cat and it's called a sprite. The sprite, it could be a character, it could be a picture, it could be a letter, it could be anything that's going to move. Then you have what we call actions in coding. Things that are going to happen to letters, characters, symbols in your in your game or your story that you're creating. And then you also have this flag, which means when you click this is when the animations are going to start. Today, we're gonna to go in to logging into Scratch, how your students can log into Scratch, how to create simple animations, how to share your animations with others, and how students can turn in their Scratch. So let's take a look here. This is the website for Scratch. It's called scratch.mit.edu. It's very simple to sign up to join Scratch. What I recommend is that you have your students sign up using Scratch, using their account for school. If you have Google, that even makes it easier. Otherwise, I have them use their username and password that they use in school, which just makes it easier for them to remember. Otherwise, I recommend writing it down. Then once you have joined, you can click sign in and sign into your Scratch account. Okay, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going up here to the top to create and to make your own. Otherwise, there are some things that you can look at on the bottom of other projects that were already created that your students can play on the bottom. But today we're going to go to create and make our own Scratch. So it will open up a new project. If you want to find a project that you've already made, you go to the top right corner, click the arrow and go to my stuff that will hold all of your files. So as you notice here, there's already a sprite on our page. If you want to get rid of the sprite, you can throw it away in the garbage. If you want to add more sprites, you click choose a sprite on the bottom. You can choose a sprite from the library of sprites that they have. You can paint the sprite. You can make a surprise for the sprite. And you can upload your own. So maybe your students want to put their faces on their animations. They can do that as well. But this is the magnifying glass is the library of sprites. And notice all the different kinds of sprites that they already have in the library. My first project that I always do with my students is I have them make a background and then I have them learn how to animate their first name. Today I'm going to show you the coding. The coding is over here on the left side. So using this sprite that I have, I'm going to have it do some motions for you. So I'm going to go to events first. And under events, that means what you want it to do. So I'm going to say that when that flag is pressed, I'm going to have it do a motion for you. So I'm going to have it move a couple steps. And in the box here, you could always click to get your cursor and have your students hit backspace and change the number of steps. So let's take a look. When this sprite is clicked, my sprite just walked 45 steps. Okay. You could always get rid of it if you don't want it anymore. You can add on to it. So maybe the way that it looks, I could change the way that it looks. Maybe it's going to say something. I'm going to have it say hello. So when this sprite is clicked, it's going to say something. You could have sounds. 
automatically it goes to meow. In order to change the sounds, you go to sounds up here on the top, you click sounds, you can get rid of the meow by hitting the garbage can. And then just like over here with the Sprite, choosing a Sprite, you can choose a different sound. There's a sound library or you can upload your own sound. A lot of students like to put a favorite song on there that they like, or they can choose a sound from the library of sounds. All right, and then there's animals, there's effects, loops. There's notes. I particularly like this for the music teacher. Okay, and then once they chose a sound, there it is. And then you can go back to your code and you can click and drag play sound underneath. And then when this green flag is clicked, it will do everything that you told it to do. Now, you can also do background. Background is on the bottom right. Again, you can look through the library. You can make your own background. It could be a surprise or you can upload your own backdrop. If you go to the library, there are quite a few different backgrounds that you can choose. So you can choose the background. And then you have a backdrop for your uh, sprite on the back. Now you can add more sprites than one. You could go back here again to sprite and find another sprite that you want. Let's see, maybe we're going to have a flying cat along with our other sprite that we have here. So you have one sprite and two sprites on your screen now. For each sprite that you have, notice that I was on the first one that we just had. I can move them back by clicking and dragging. For each sprite, you have to do coding. It does not attach. So you would go to the next sprite and you'd add the ones that you had for the first one and now do the second one. The fun things is up here on your sprite, you can move your sprites on your X and your Y axis. And you can also change the size of the sprite as well by clicking it and typing in for size and direction too. Once your students are done, they should click save on the top. And I also recommend that they label it on the top left. Um, there's many times that they've saved and then they weren't sure. So I always have them name it on the top left. And then this is when I went to my stuff here on the top. This just brought me to all my stuff. And so this is the demo lesson that I just made. If I click see inside, it's going to again show me all the coding that I just created. In order to share it with a friend or share it to turn it in for a grade, all students have to do is click share and then copy the link. The link will bring you right to this page. 